My name is uh, Patrick O'Sullivan, aka Patio, I'm the Director of Safety and Risk here at the Basin and welcome to our first episode of our mountain tours. Just going to get started here in the base area, really super simple, just a couple buildings, you really shouldn't lose your friends or your children and uh, you do need to get back in touch with them, just a reminder that we have really strong AT&T service but no other services so you might need to go back to an old school plan of having a meeting place so you don't lose track of each other. We're going to jump on the BMX chair, which accesses up to Mid Mountain, where there's a restaurant called Black Mountain Lodge. It's an easy slide from there to the Lenaway Mountain chair that takes us to the summit, where we can access everything. And we're going to get up on the Cornerstone and start talking about that here in just a minute. I'm here to tell you about the front side. We're on the Cornerstone, really central run here. It's a beautiful groomer in the sky with expansive views off of both sides. And it's pretty cool because you can access into the Beavers or into Montezuma Bowl. But as you go off to the right, you drop into all kinds of different runs that just keep you on the front side. And some of them are groomed sometimes, some of them are like beautiful wind fed, deep powder. And you could just stay on the ridge line if you'd like it a little bit mellower until you get lower. So a lot of choice off this run. Hey, now we're on the uh, east side of uh, the front part of our mountain, kind of an, up in the Alpine again. And we've come down from the top, there's a couple good groomers, blue slopes. And then if you hang off to the right, you dump into one of my favorite areas, it's called Lenaway Parks, after the big mountain here, Lenaway Mountain. And there's quite a variety of gullies that get really nice wind accumulation. So when I say that, I mean, we might've reported four inches. If you go to the right spot, you're gonna find six, eight, maybe deeper snow when you get on the lee side of some of these gullies that are below us. The other thing that's in the background here, these big wooden fences, we use them to accumulate snow when the wind gets pretty heavy up here. So if you're looking for a really fun splash down of deeper snow, get on the uh, leeward side of the fence and rip down that big row of snow that they put in there. It's really fun skiing. All right, now we're down on the lower mountain and uh, believe it or not, with that kind of scenery behind me, we're on a green trail. This is called Sundance. Just we've got a lot of good grooming on our lower mountain trails. And they kind of are very progressive from the right to the left. They just get harder as you go to the left. So this is a green trail. The next one to our left is a high noon, really excellent blue trail. It just gets progressively harder so you can continue to challenge yourself. Oh, uh, we're gonna ski down here into the base area. And uh, from the base area, all kinds of places you could get to, but Paul Vicini is just right down the way. One of the best lifts in the state, if not the best, and excellent expert terrain off that. We're gonna talk about that in a future episode. All right, well, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we're gonna have some future episodes highlighting other parts of our mountain. You can learn a whole lot real quick of how beautiful this mountain is and how easy it is to use.